guys know this, but Brooklyn and I just got back from our first weekend of touring. We honestly had so much fun, you guys. We got to hug all of you and see your beautiful signs, and you guys brought us presents and so many boxes of Life cereal, and we just felt so blessed, and just having the opportunity to be on that stage and perform for you guys was honestly so amazing. And we are starting our second weekend of tour tomorrow. We are going to Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Columbus, and we're so excited to be able to meet all you guys and hug you guys and just oh my goodness I'm so excited so if you guys want to buy your tickets make sure you click the link in the description box below I would love nothing more than to see your beautiful faces at our tour we want to be able to meet you guys so buy your tickets right now different amazing ways you guys can recycle old jeans so we've been seeing a lot of really cool jean styles recently like a lot of like this fringy like hems and these florally pattern designs and stuff and so we're gonna show you guys all of that in this video today on how you guys can do a DIY style and recycle those old jeans that you just do not want to use anymore but before we get on and show you guys that be sure to click down below click that bell ring that notification bing, button bing bing. bing 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 we're gonna give you five seconds to ring it Five, four, three, two, one. If you guys click the bell, be sure to leave a comment below and tell us that you did, because we want to know, because we really hope that a lot of you did it. So leave a comment below. Now, let's get on to the video. Woo! In this DIY, I'm going to be showing y'all how to create your own pair of ripped jeans. To start, we need a pair of plain jeans, a ruler, some sandpaper, an X-Acto knife, a piece of cardboard, some scissors, and a piece of chalk. For these jeans, I'm going to be showing you how to make holes in your jeans and how to rough them up so that they look natural. To start, you're going to take a piece of chalk and outline where you want the hole to start and end on your jeans. Then you're going to take your piece of cardboard and put it inside the pant leg of your jeans, right where you're going to be making the hole. Now you're going to take your X-Acto knife and start cutting across the line of chalk you made earlier where you want your hole to start and where you want your hole to end in your jeans. Once you've done that, you can make minor cuts in between those two lines of where you want your hole to start and end so it kind of makes a ripped up effect. Although your cuts may currently look like Swiss cheese like this, after washing them, they fray a little and end up turning out just like these. After you've made your holes, you can take your cardboard and place it inside the pocket of your jeans. Now you can take your X-Acto knife and cut horizontal lines across the seam of your pocket of your jeans. After you're done cutting, you can take your sandpaper, which I actually really hate the feeling of sandpaper, and just rub it along the cuts that you've made in your pocket to kind of just rough them up a little bit more. And after a few minutes of extreme arm workout, you will get the results you're looking for with a roughed up pocket edge. And there you have your ripped up jeans. Alright you guys, it's time to make these adorable rose patch jeans. So for these jeans, all you need is an old pair of jeans, these super cute rose patches, and fabric glue. So as you can see, I have already done one leg of my jeans and they look super cute. So I'm gonna flip it on over and show you guys how I did it on the other leg. All right, step uno. Take your rose patches and place them on your jeans where you want them. Make sure you like where you're putting them because that's where you will be gluing them. And trust me, it's really hard to get those patches off once they've been glued. I've tried it, it's not possible. So make sure that you like where you're placing them. Next, take this fabric glue and glue the back of the patch. Make sure you're getting all those cracks and crevices and all the edges so that it sticks perfectly. Now flip it on around and press it onto those jeans and hold it for a couple seconds to make sure it does not move. We want it to stay on those jeans. So once you press it for a long amount of time, you can go ahead and take the next rose patch and just do the exact same steps. 
put glue on the back and then press it down on the jeans and make sure it stays there. And voila, you've got your beautiful, gorgeous rose patch jeans. us to make these cut hem jeans. We need a pair of jeans, a piece of cardboard, an X-Acto knife, and some scissors. In order to make these jeans, we have to cut a half circle from the back of the ankle of your jeans, as you can see right here. So we're going to be starting with a pair of scissors, and we're going to go to the ankle on the back of our jeans, and we're going to cut out a half circle from seam to seam. After cutting, you should have a half circle shape of your jeans left over, which if you're really crafty, I'm sure you can find a use for, but I just plan on throwing away. Then you're going to place your cardboard inside the leg of your pants, as you can see, and make sure that the fabric is on top of the cardboard. Then take your X-Acto knife and cut just tiny little cuts up the pant leg so you rough up the edge just a little bit. After you wash your jeans, they will turn out a little bit more rough on the edges and you've finished your jeans. Now it's time to make our faux embroidered jeans. To start, you need a pair of jeans some floral patches of your choice, and some fabric glue. For these jeans, we're gonna make everyone think that we are absolutely amazing at embroidery and embroidered all these flowers onto our jeans, when in reality, we cheated a little and just glued some patches on with some fabric glue. To start, I'm going to lay out my jeans and start placing patches in a pattern that I like. Once you've finished placing the pattern, you can take a piece of cardboard and place it underneath the jean pant leg right where you've placed your patches. Now take your fabric glue, take one of your patches, and start lightly applying your fabric glue all over the back of the patch. Once you're done gluing, you can put it on the jeans where you want, press down and hold, and let the glue dry so that the patch sticks to the jeans. This is super easy, but honestly the hardest part is trying not to glue your fingers down too. Continue doing this for all your patches, and then you will have your faux embroidered jeans. the best for last you guys so I'm gonna show you guys how to make these super cute DIY fringe jeans so first things first all you need is an old pair of jeans a ruler some tweezers scissors and chalk or even a marker something to mark on the jeans that will show up so as you can see to start off this DIY I already have one leg done and it is so cute so before we go on to the second leg I'm gonna have you whip out that ruler now take that ruler and measure four inches at the bottom end of the leg so you can see I've started the bottom end, measured four inches and marked it off with my chalk. So now that I have it marked off, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that end off with my scissors. Right, you guys, so now that I've cut off the leg, it's time to pull out that ruler again and measure about two inches above from the bottom part that we just cut off. So you can see I'm marking two inches with my chalk. I told you guys this chalk would come in handy. So now that we have it marked, go ahead and take your scissors and just cut small strips all the way up to that line. And we're gonna continue cutting these small strips all the way around that bottom leg of the jean. Okay, so now that you have finished cutting all the way to that edge, we're gonna take one of those strips and you can see those blue threads on the inside. We're just gonna take them one by one and peel it kind of like a banana. And we're just gonna continue peeling those blue strips down until we are able to pull out the many white threads. This is basically unthreading the stitching in the jean. So that way all you have left is the blue threads hanging down below. So this might seem like it would take forever and it does take a little while, but guys, I promise that it goes fast once you get started. And I literally wear these jeans all the time, so it is so worth it. 
And if you don't feel like doing these jeans all by yourself, you can always holla for a little bit of help. Asa was next to me, so I had him help me make these. And so that's how I got them done so quickly. So if you feel like it's taking a long time, just ask somebody to help you. So as you guys can see, I continued that step all the way around the bottom end of that jean. And voila! You can see we have our fringe jeans. They're so cute on, and I always get compliments when I wear them. So guys, definitely try out this DIY. It's so worth it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. You guys will definitely catch us wearing these jeans in our Instagram oh, pictures oh, because yeah. they're cute. And so jeans. now I have five new pairs of jeans. Yes. <laughs> and if you guys make this DIY, we definitely want to see you guys. We want to see your versions of it, see your jeans. So tag us in pictures on Instagram and Twitter so that we can see y'all recreate our DIY jeans. Y'all are. I cannot wait. You guys are you guys more creative this, yeah. than we are, so <laughs> I cannot wait. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, definitely go do that by clicking the button right over here. And if you want to watch more of our back to school videos, click the button right over here. Now we will see you guys next week, and we hope to see you guys and your jeans on Instagram and Twitter. Love you guys. Bye!